Once we already have our 2% lidocaine and abibicaine, like a regular vasectomy, we have a male cover. We have a large uh, sterile gown. Of course, all, this, uh, all these have to be sterile. And then the uh, three-quarter drape uh, that Dr. Stein will drape out the patient with. So all these three is what we need. Um, we also have some saline water. And you always have a large and extra large uh, support. Uh, these are located under the sink. You have both large and extra large, but most of the time it's large. And also the extra saline water is also under the sink with cotton balls. And is that sterile saline or Correct. it's not sterile? Yes. Oh, okay, terrific. So uh, usually we use, um, uh, if we have two vasectomies in the week, one, one uh, bottle of uh, saline water is good for both dates. We try not to keep it for the following week and of all course. that because, you know, it's sterile. Um, we always, of course, like any other dark office, you want to wipe off the tips of the uh, supplements. I have size seven gloves. You always, you always have a uh, hemostat, which, which also is located here. We have plenty of hemostats right here located in here. There's plenty of them. And he always has some extra uh, hippo cleanse. And it is good that Dr. Clancy is videotaping this because we do require extra um, padding. Uh, Dr. Stein uses this to, uh, um, I'm not even sure what he uses it for, but I know it's always been. Where does it go? It goes there. I think this is what he wipes down the guy's uh, uh, cleans down the screen. Mm. So as you can see right here, we have padding. And we just cut it, I don't know, I cut about an inch of it. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember how long it is, but that's good enough right there. We'll have enough probably for the remainder of the year. Um, it serves its purpose, so you might want to ask him what the purpose is, but I know he uses it. And the padding, remember, it's right under the bed. And you always put one of these there because he'll use it and the rest can go right here where the uh, other uh, hemostats are and important, most important thing always is make sure you always have a sterile field because if you contaminate something you have to start all over and if you contaminate the, the instrument sets you're going to have to start all over and delay the vasectomy reversal if you set it up the day of if you set it up the day before and you contaminate it, you can you can re-sterilize it. It won't be an issue. But I usually set them up the day of. And again, we're still keeping the sterile field. All this is sterile. I'm only contaminating the corners because nothing will touch the corners. Everything will be inside this middle sterile field. So what I do is I will get up this instrument set and just like if you set up second sets, just slide it in there again still sterile you put in your uh, in any any order you like it doesn't really matter have to do this order it can be any order you like but just make sure everything's inside the sterile field again the only thing that was contaminated was this two corners so hopefully nothing's contaminated again still sterile field you got your lower lock 10 cc's you got your wax cells you got your blade again still sterile field Stone sterile field. And then you got your slip tip. This is where you're going to draw up your saline water and slip tip. And you got your uh, 27 gauge needle, which Dr. Stein uh, provides the anesthesia for the patient. You got your uh, angio cap. It's still in the sterile field. So again, the only thing that's been contaminated was the cleaner. Okay, that's ready. So then we go with this again. You don't have to start with there. You can start with this, but I always have to start there and then come over here. The first thing you'll open up will be the, uh, the gown. And this right here is fine because it's still in a sterile field. So again, I'm only contaminating the corners. You can see the corners right there. 
You still have a nice sterile field. The only thing that's been contaminated is the corners. And then you'll open up the three quarter tray. Still in the sterile field. Uh, nothing's been contaminated. And what I'll do is I'll just let it go on there. Sterile field. Not contaminated. And of course, this is so explanatory. Just peel it off. And what I'll do is I'll rip off a little bit more of the sides. That way, the uh, this can slide off. Again, everything's still in the sterile field. Sterile field. And just let it slide on there. more complicated than it is but there it is still sterile I'm ready um, you have your uh, electrical pads right here you'll find anything you need for the reversal here the only thing that you will bring from uh, out there would be uh, your uh, 10 cc lower lock the 10 cc slip tip uh, the 18 gauge needle and the 27 gauge needle everything else should be here you got your 9-0 Dr. Stein usually does uh, five nine no per patient. If he asks for this, if he asks for more, of course you'll hear the uh, bell ring. And they're right here, so they locate right here. 4-0, 3-0, your blades, your uh, your uh, angel calf, and your wax cells there. We have a couple uh, slip tips here. The mirror and the size seven gloves. We will put that later on because sometimes he offers the opportunity for the patient to look at the procedure if he wants. Again, the 9 0 will go right here. Dr. Stein will ring the bell. And when he rings the bell, that means he'll ask for some 9 0 or something else. Um, here, we'll get the hemp cleanse. Hemp cleanse is already mixed right here. Just in the morning, I add warm water into it, turn on the water warmer. And what's so, in the mix? Uh, we got 50% uh, uh, water, 25% uh, rubbing alcohol, and 25% uh, hemp uh, cleanse. So this is mixed in a 16 ounce bottle. So it'd be four ounces of Hippoclins, four ounces of rubbing alcohol, and eight ounces of uh, regular tap water. It's good to go. Uh, it's much cleaner than uh, Betadine. Um, Dr. Stein always saves up the guy, so we'll have that with the razor. The razor is just over there. And then we always have a rubber band for Dr. Stein to get the gentleman's uh, equipment out of the way. So now comes the time where I'm going to set up for the reversal. Again, I just want to clean my hands. Again, still have to be sterile. And at one point in the video, you'll see that I'll contaminate my left hand. Uh, when I contaminate my left hand, it means I break contamination. My left hand will be touching the, the saline water and will be touching the supplement, the 2% and the 5%. My dominant right hand will always be sterile because I can dominate this and I can cover up everything with this one right hand. Um, so just remember, uh, at one point, without a, uh, you don't need a, a helper. Uh, I've done this for so many times that I, I don't need it. But sometimes for the first couple of times, if you're new to this, uh, you may require a helper to help you uh, pour in the saline water or hold up the... Uh, <clears throat> The, uh, supplement so then I have a bigger hand than Dr. Stein and Dr. Kermitton so I use size seven and a half gloves which are right here and again all that's sterile still we all have sterile spill still so I'm just going to pull this up to me just a little bit put this aside and blow up First time I ever did this was kind of difficult. So still gloves, still hands. So now I can test this. And what I'll do is I'll open up this to the corners 
and the drape and the uh, gown are all sterile. I have an actual reinforcement sterilization and basically it says right here where it says converters may have stand the cover. Just go ahead and open it up, slide it in there. Again, still sterile. Most important sterile field here is this glue. So everything's still sterile. Everything's still sterile. Nothing's been contaminated. All right, let's fold it in. You can leave like this if you like, but I like to fold it in just so it looks a little neater. Fold in the flaps again. Nothing's been contaminated. And as you choose to, you could choose to set up the reversal in which way you can. This is the way I was taught by Vivian. So I start off with the shot glasses. The shot glasses is where we put in our ceiling wire. And then you have your artery one here. And what I'll do is just I'll put this right here. And that's out of the way. And you have the cartery wand there. And then what I'll do is I'll put these instruments, lay it on there, fold in the sterile towel, put it in there. That way I can cover up the, uh, the tray at the end of the, when I'm done. You have five uh, hemostats, one large one, and you got four you got three fine tip and then this X-ray one that Dr. Kern, Dr. Stein will use. I always put them like this, like I said. So everybody has their own preference. I always put them like this. Then you have these instruments. You'll have three of these. Uh, most of the time, Dr. Kern, Dr. Stein will add instruments instead of taking out instruments. At one point, there was only one. Now there's three. But then I have this. And you will always have four ring clamps. Always. Again, he may add one more, but he would, I don't think I've ever seen him take out more uh have less than uh four i'll take off these tips these tips are every single sharp instrument has a tip on it and the reason is it prevents it from penetrating the uh the the pouch sterilization pouch um so it helps do that i'll take these off we got three scissors so the scissors i put them right here we got three as you can see, they're all different sizes. And I always put the large one on the bottom and then the middle, uh, middle size in the middle and the small one on top. Then we have these instruments. Uh, I think they're needle drivers and it's still sterile filled. And I'll take off these tips and I'll just stack them from biggest to smallest. There you go. And you have this right here. Just take off the tip and there you go. And then like I said, I just put them all together right there. That way, Dr. Stein can look at them and find them exactly where he has them, you know, so he doesn't have to be looking for these. You always have a pointy hemostat. That's where it provides the end. And then the little blade. Slide in there. And just be careful. I will let you know this thing is very sharp. I've already cut myself with it. Very simple. Uh, very quick. And then what we do after you do that is we'll grab uh, the gauzes. These are all sterile. You can never have enough gauzes. But uh, for the most part, I think there's probably a total of eight, about 10 gauzes. All right. And then you always have the tongue decompressors. Uh, this is the, um, Dr. Corinthian? Pin, pin run straight. straight. You got it. Pin run straight. And you will always have four slides in there, and this is the slide serves as purpose for Dr. Stein when he uh, brings out the fluid, he'll call us back and we check in the slides and usually he puts this, the fluid right there in the corner and we check it. We're looking for uh, sperm parts or what, what do we see on the microscope? So you always have four, we always have extra sterile. And I know he puts the vast deference in here and he cuts it off. Uh, that's, I don't know what the name of the instruments are, but you have two and they're number two and three. I think it's called a nerve stabilizer because it was made for nerves, yeah. but but it first time I heard it. Like so, we had a list, but, but it helps but, you yeah. cut a right angle. It's kind of cool. All right, and then you always have this right here, and this is just the the uh, razor that Dr. Stein uses to cut the vast deference. Angiocath, oh, like I said, you can do it any way you want. 
Still sterile field. We got the wet cells right here, so Dr. Stein know where the wet cells are. You got the 3 0 and the 4 0 right there. And then I'll take off the angel cath. The angel cath, you take off that cap. You take off this right here. Put it right there, anywhere right there, it's fine. And this is where I tell you I can I break contamination. Dominant hand's right hand. You're left handed, of course, you're going to contaminate the right hand. So my left hand, I know now I cannot test none of this. So then I'll come over here and grab a saline water and I'll fill them up about halfway. And then with my dominant right hand, I'll grab the slip tip, keeping my left hand is contaminated away and I'll just fill it up. And I think this is what Dr. Stein uses to flush the, the you know, the vaster. And then I'll grab my lower lock with my um, hand that's been above contamination. I'll just slip this on and draw up the supplement. As you've seen before I started, I already had wiped this down with alcohol. That way they're ready for me to draw up the supplement. We'll do 50-50 mixture. I'll do about six cc's of... Uh, of, two, of uh, 0.5 Vivicane, which will be 6 cc's, because this is a 12 gauge. And then I'll draw up another 6 cc's of 2% uh, lidocaine. Again, still sterile. And I think usually three of these is good enough to get the syringe full. Well, that would only have a little bit. And every once in a while, Dr. Stein would require an extra amount of uh, supplement and he will ring the bell and just come in. Hand still sterile. Right hand is, hasn't been contaminated. And then what I'll do is, on this one, again, I still still feel, but now I'm going to switch it over to my contaminated hand, still sterile. Put in the 27 gauge, slide it in there, sterile hand. And that's why I said my, my most dominant hand is the right hand. So this is what I do here. Still, sterile towel covers the sterile instruments. So all the instruments, everything that Dr. Stein needs for tomorrow's case is under a sterile field. And then just push this in to the corner. And that's it. Now, comes where I'm gonna set this up. So this is where I put the mirror and the size seven gloves. Go right here. I put them at the end because I don't wanna uh, break the mirror. And then I'll just grab it from here. And again, that's still sterile. Put this on the lip of the uh, window, on the window seal. I'll push it in. And again, this is adjustable. It depends on how tall the patient is tomorrow and all that. This is adjustable. As you can see, the light is right here. Usually the guy's scrotum is going to be right here. And just go ahead and put this up right here. Slide this into there. Grab them from the corners right here, because again, you're still sterile. Dr. Stein will not touch none of this right here. All this is still sterile, under sterile field. You grab the pillow, set it right there. We have some extra trays up here to make the pillow a little bit higher. And again, still sterile. Well, the corners have been contaminated. And then this is where I put the mirror in the size seven gloves. And right here on the bottom, we have little drawers where the chuck pads are. Two is more than enough. This is where usually the guy's rear uh, buttocks is gonna be sitting at. So, and he was saying, he'll instruct the guy to sit down over here. That's what we have the stool there for. He'll hop on there, eventually instruct him head down this way, 
feet that way and then you just adjust to this if the guy needs to be pushed back a little bit because he's taller he's a little smaller individual put it up there and that's about it that's very simple and sterilization of this instrument is just like regular vasectomies um but these right here are very important to cover all the instruments that pointy humans uh pointy in instruments to prevent it from penetrating uh the uh the sterilization pouch so we have a nice sterile field um other than that that's that's it very simple terrific thank you